Good morning YouTube. So I'm taking a look at the efficiency on this Drock 8 amp buck converter. What I want to compare it with here is this is a synchronous boost buck converter. So what I've made here is a little uh, coaxial power distribution block if you will. I've got actually four jacks in there and I've got three devices plugged in. I have my under cabinet lights here and then I've got a magnifying light that has about 10 watts of LEDs. And then down here I've got an LCD monitor that's running off of 12 volts as well. So I've got the three devices plugged in there using about 4 and 3 quarter amps total at 12.16. And I'm getting here if I take uh, about 57 and a half kind of as an average and 60 and a half watts input that gives me about a 95 percent efficiency and the other thing I wanted to do here I've been running this for a while uh, this upwards of about a 74 75 C on that particular part maybe yeah there was a 72 down in there and then the device on this side is is cooler about 50 and there's the inductor so yeah it's definitely warming up I think they say about a 50 C temperature rise and right now in the office here it's about 28 okay here I've replaced the Drock buck converter with this uh, boost buck converter just using it in the buck converter mode the difference is this device will actually maintain the 12 volt output even if the input drops below 12 volts just looking here we've got 57 watts of uh, output 59 input so the percentages are pretty much the same 95 96 percent they're pretty comparable. I mean, that's not like one is incredibly much higher than the other. That's the reading here at a 31 volt input. And we can take a look at the temperature here if that shows up. So we've got 40, about 50 degrees on the heat sink. And then over there's this big inductor that's around 40, about 50 as well. And then this small inductor is also about the same temperature. This is my high voltage test, so like I say, I've got 31 volts. And I'm going to switch over to a different supply so here. So this is a fixed supply that I have, outputs 13.8 volts. Okay, I've still got the boost buck converter. I'm running off my 13.8, uh, or actually it's 13.66 volts. So now the input and output current are pretty close to each other. You can see 4.25 amps, and here you've got about the same 4.7 amps output. And here you can see that the power is actually quite a bit closer here. You've got maybe 58 watts going in, 57 watts going out. So this boost buck converter gets quite efficient down at these low ratios of input to output voltage so, so that's well up over 95 percent yeah and here we go we've got the drock converter now same 13.66 volt input running maybe 59 watts on the input side and about 56 on the output so the drock converter gets a little less efficient down at these low ratios these meters jump around quite a bit I think they they don't do any real averaging I think they just take samples not the ideal setup but just trying to get a qualitative number this does seem to be a little less efficient at this low input to output voltage ratio but it's still holding the output pretty steady there this would be like your battery is being discharged 12.4 volts and you can see now as I start lowering the input voltage now we're down to 12.1 the output has fallen to 11.85 
so we're roughly a quarter of a volt lower here but you can see the monitor is still happy we're now at 10.2 volts on the output 10.4 volts on the input this would be kind of as low as your battery voltage is going to get the monitor is still displaying it's pulling you know same two amps pretty much yeah so basically this is just passing current straight through it's not able to regulate the voltage it's yeah so I, I haven't touched the bench supply power we're still getting 10.4 volts now we're getting two and a half 2.6 amps coming in so actually the boost buck converter takes more current at this lower voltage because it's trying to boost the the output if you can see that it's still staying here at 12.17 volts outputting 2 amps and we're actually losing a little bit of power through the device in doing that boost stage so 26 watts in 25 24 watts out you know for a lot of 12 volt applications this thing seems to work the nice thing is you can go below the input so if the input voltage is 11 volts and your output voltage is set to 12 this device will still power your loads it just won't power it at 12 volts again comes down to your loads if they need 12 volt exactly you're gonna have to use something like this because a 12 volt battery bank is gonna go up and down in voltage it's not a fixed supply if your loads can tolerate a little bit of up and down one of these will work fine so figure out what your needs are and choose accordingly so anyway I'll try to wrap this up if you have any questions about that, put that in the comment section below. Subscribe for updates, and as always, thanks for watching.